Welcome to Good Mythical More. We are going to explore the meaning of fancy culinary terms by asserting that, of course, we already know what they mean. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But and you're going to get a little treat. Oh, Every time you get a little we get treat. Right, we get a little treat. Yeah, when you when you get it right, you get a tiny little treat. Okay. Is it schmear? Um, it can be. Okay. It, we'll mix it up. Uh, but first, we're going to donate one thousand dollars to the National Immigration Law Center to aid in their mission to defend and advance the rights and opportunities of low income immigrants and their family members. Oh. NILC engages in policy analysis, litigation, education, and advocacy to achieve their goals. Please join us in giving at nilc.org/donate. Thank you for being your mythical All right. I think you will have heard of some of these, okay. but not, like, I don't know if you've thought through what it means previously. Like, all gratin is the first one. Okay. Like, you've surely, are, surely you've heard of it. Those are good taters. This is when you... If I see all gratin on a tater on a, on a menu, boy, I'm going to order that. First of all, have they I made it? are no. so good. Are they, they are, are so, the best. so good. I um, thinly sliced with butter and cheese. I and had a friend. I told you about this on the podcast. I, my so my good? friend Ralph, who like is basically, he's just like a real deal chef. That when you go over, you go over to his house. He just makes you these incredible meals. And, uh-huh. and um, he did like a five course meal one time. Yes, and he did some al gratin. And he also said it with a Swiss accent because he is from Switzerland. Did he tell you what it meant? I just assumed because he had made them so thin that it's a it's a method of slicing and cooking. Uh, it's it, it's when you slice the potatoes and then cook them versus cooking them whole or smashing them. Like grot, like grate, like if you were to grate something. I think it's um, it's not shaved, but it's thinly sliced. I think all gratin just means thinly sliced. It's a good guess. It's not right. What? Uh, it's it, it means sprinkled with breadcrumbs and cheese or both and browned. And I want you to know, like, you could have gotten a little treat, but instead, Chase, could you please come out? And if you will just eat that little, those little treats. Yeah. Oh, in front of us. Thank oh, you. God. So it would have been a cheese. It seemed like you were going to give it to me. Thank you, Chase. what we would have gotten. Okay. Confit. 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 I know it has an S on it. This I mean, is... <laughs> it's got an S on it. I know there's an S, a silent S. I think this is when you cook something in fat. Like you take something and you just cook it directly in fat. Well, confit. it's French, we know that. Cause like duck confit. That's the only time I've heard of it as after the word duck. And, and, and I don't like, out, I don't order duck. So. It comes out real crispy. Con fit. Con means with. Fit. Maybe, maybe, maybe fat. With fat. It's French. That's what it means. What do you call your granddad's smear? What? Okay. What do I call my granddad's smear? Yeah. Uh, you can get it. Happy. Happy sh- pap schmear. <laughs> I was, I got it pretty quickly. Uh, sorry, I'm mm. sorry, mm. I'm sorry. Granddad so you're gotta you're going to get his pap schmear. <laughs> you're agreeing. You're both guessing the same thing. With fat, very specifically, and and Rhett, you're saying it's cooked in its own cooked fat. In its own fat, like yes. con queso. Means with cheese. Yes, this is with confit. <laughs> yeah, this is when you take a duck. What y'all feet. laughing at? It's not Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's French. Yeah. yeah. It is. They're all the same. Meat word. cooked slowly in its own fat. Oh yeah. I feel like, well, Chase, you're the doler of treats. There was. A, I did say, are you agreeing with each other? And Link did he said, say he agreed. Yeah. Okay. Not, then he gets me. It. You said. No, that you're saying with fat. Oh no, I I didn't say no. <laughs> Who do you think just got that right, Link? Both of us. We said the same thing, <laughs> didn't we? I said it was cooked in its own fat. Yeah. You said it was with fat. But wait, 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 wait if you just said you agree with me, you're right. 
Mm-hmm. But not right because of what you said. You're only right because you said you agree with me. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> with that. Cope with his Viddle. own back. Viddle. Viddle? Viddle. Spelled V I C T U A L. Spell that again. Yo, come on, get your fiddles. V I C T U A L. Victual. Now, vittles, that's what they would say out on the, on, on the stagecoach. When they, the chuck wagon, they'd clang the bell and they'd say, come get your vittles. And that's what they were saying, apparently. Are you kidding? Vittles, yeah. Come get your vittles. I've never heard about ding a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling I think this is another word for the ice cream of the future. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it was when they first introduced it. Okay. It was like, uh, what, are the, uh, what do they call these, little, these little balls? Vittles. Fiddles, that sounds right. Fiddles, that's what they'll talk about. That's, that's how they'll talk in the future. Fiddles, 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 fiddles. But they went with Dippin' Dots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They went with Dippin' Dots. What do you call your granddad's Vittles? <sighs> uh, you don't have an answer. It's just Pap's Vittles. Oh. It's, okay. uh, it's really just to throw you back to the Pap Schmear joke. Okay. See, I don't think it just means food, but I think it just became food in the Wild West. But back in like, where have you heard this? In Yellowstone, eight, 1923, 1888? All, all types of westerns. Which they, one? Haven't you ever heard of eat your vittles? Get your vittles? I probably heard it, but it went one ear out the other. Vittles. It's just food. It's right to the future of ice cream. I can't. Has anyone else heard of the term vittles? I'm as aware. Yeah, just like you. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes y'all make me feel crazy. And I'm not. Me and hot dog on a stick. Come get your vittles. Come get your vittles. You're right, Link. It's any food or provisions for humans. It is not, unfortunately, futuristic ice cream. Oh, dang it. I guess I don't get a Chase, treat. do you have any vittles? I got some vittles. I got a culinary term correct. You did. You did. I've legitimately never registered if I've heard I mean, that. ice cream in the future is a vittle. Technically. Well, got a little bit of tail. Just a <laughs> <laughs> it is Vittles, yeah. But I never knew it was spelled that way. Mother. Well, we know what this is. You're talking about. It's not what you think it is. It's not a SCOBY. Yeah, exactly. It's not the thing in, it, that makes a kombucha? No. I mean, it is, but that's not what I'm asking. Mother? Mother. It's, it's, the, it's the part that you continue to use to make something again and again. It could be kombucha. It could be bread. It could be... It's any, but she just said it wasn't that. But it's more than that, is what she meant. No. It's the piece that you it's the piece that you keep that makes the babies of whatever food can do that. What do you call your granddaddy's mother? <sighs> your your great grandmother? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great grandmother. Your great grandmother. Oh, mother. Mother. Mother, 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 mother. It's like, it, it, it's not a culinary term as much as it's a chef, like, logistical term. Mother. They like to say corner and stuff like that in the kitchen. Yeah. Mother. I think it's when, it's, I think it's when something happens exactly as you wanted it to in the kitchen. You know. It's like an. It's, it's like, like you're a celebratory. You're thing? trying things out, and it's like ah, you know, chefs they really get they get so angsty about things not being right. But then every once in a while, a sous chef sets something up there on the counter, and they look at it, and they're like, "Mother, mother!" mother. And everybody knows they succeeded. So that's really what it is. Close. It's the base sauce used to make other variations of the original sauce. There are five variations. I, was oh, I don't right. know how to. I don't. I don't know how to pronounce all of these. So it's a sauce that you keep going forever and ever. Okay, Nicole's coming to say all of these. You five keep variations. making. No, it's not the same. It's not keeping making. It's you keep I, some of it, and then you just keep adding to it and making it back up. 
I don't. Think Hi, the good. five mother sauces are bechamel, tomate, velouté, espagnol, and hollandaise. And it doesn't have anything to do with keeping it going. It's it doesn't like, keep any, have anything to do with keeping it going. It's the base ingredient in the five different avenues of sauces that can be made in a kitchen. Everything is gonna, every sauce in a kitchen is gonna have one of these five ingredients oh. in it. One of these mother sauces. The mother sauce. Huh. Wow. Huh. Nicole, would you like a little treat? <laughs> yeah, give, Nicole, you know what? give Nicole five treats, one I'm for every ahead, sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, Chase, Chase is literally over there feeding her a little treat. <laughs> Hand feeding. It's one tree. Hand feeding Nicole. She just wanted one. Involtini. Involtini. Sounds Involtini. Italian. Involtini. 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 Tini means small. It sure does. Invol. Opposite of outvol. Outville gigantic in Voltini. What does Tony mean? Because you've got rig of Tony. And then you've got Linguini. Okay. And you've got In Voltini. Spaghetti. This is a noun. Um I guess it is Italian. Um I think it's when uh, an Italian woman's cooking something and she drops it on the floor and then she inverts it and serves it. Like I meant to do that? Yeah. Like, it's, like a, it's like the Italian five second rule. They call it, they invoke the involtini. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, the Italian five second rule. I think it's when you're in a pasta cutting session, like there's a, the pasta just keeps coming and you're cutting it at the right, the right length every oh. single time, you know, you're boom, 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 okay. boom. Yes. And then you get distracted and you get some extra long pasta and oh. you pick up and then later they're in, they, they look at it and they're like, what happened there? I was like, oh, I had a little involtini. So that's an error or is that an, an a, a, it's like a conniption. It's an, an Italian conniption. Oh, like a brain fart. Brain, it's an Italian brain fart is an okay. involtini. Okay, all right. Resulting in long pasta specifically. Okay. You're both close, but the hint is the word, like it's involtini, so I in, in. So what What would you think then? Inside. In. Okay. And go a little bit more detailed about what it would What's inside? Internal. Oh, it's anything inside a pasta. It's a filling. Yeah. An involtini is the filling? It is when food such as meat, poultry, seafood, or vegetables is wrapped around a filling such as cheese, cured meats, or nuts. When it's wrapped around a filling, yeah. it envelops it. Oh. Do I get a little treat? <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks like He's, Stevie's getting a treat. Chase, she Thank you, she Chase. Has the she's answers. reading the answers. She didn't. Oh come on! Now she's doing it right in front of us. Now it's turning into this episode again. <laughs> uh, tr Trisket. <laughs> I okay. like. I think we should use Involtini. because, like you know, like bacon wrapped dates, bacon wrapped scallops. Do that. you have anything of the Involtini variety? How yeah. I ask. I think you should. Yeah, I think just using that word. What's bacon. The is, What's the involtini tonight? Bacon is a great involtinizer. Mm. Speaking of vittles. Mm. What's, the, what's another good involtinizer besides What's the bacon? Involtini? Prosciutto. Yeah, prosciutto. That's right. Uh, a little prosciutto with fig and goat cheese. Mm. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's good. Um, cadre, cro, cadre. Crotch. What? <laughs> Cadrier. Cadre. Cod means C A D or C O D? Q U A D R I L L E R. So it's four. Cadre. Um, something four. What do you what do you do? This is a. This is four. Meatballs. Four meatballs. Uh, yep, it's uh, it's when you it's when you make anything into fourths. 
It's when you, you know what? Okay, when you it's cut something into four. It's when you've got a hamburger helper shared between four people, which we used to do mm-hmm. in, in college. Yep. We would We'd make, make it, that thing in the pan. We put the pan on the table, and then we would take it. And we would do. We would, the, we would make divide. the demarcations. We would quadrilay it, if you will. So you only got to eat as much as I eat, which yeah, is kind of yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's nuts. First of all, I could eat a whole hamburger helper. That's why I was so skinny. Yeah. That's and why you, I gained twenty five pounds my first year of marriage because I started eating. <laughs> you literally did. Oh, right? Yeah, I went from. 200 to 225 <laughs> in one year. That was the heaviest I ever was. And I was like, hold on, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> I don't think I can just eat whatever I want because I don't think I've been doing that. I've just been eating one quarter of a hamburger helper <laughs> and thinking that I was getting full. <laughs> I'm starving myself. You didn't go, you didn't go anywhere. I was quadrilaying myself with the vittles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't know, man. Skin and bones, dude. You didn't. Uh, I mean, it, 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 and you did. You didn't. You, you didn't stay up and just eat other stuff. You were. You were too it, active. It, you, it you, was. It was a combination of not. We didn't have enough money to eat. We didn't buy anything, right. and also, I was more active because I got married and got a desk job in the same year. Those yeah. two things. Yeah. You didn't do much. Sitting down all day for the first time in my life and being married and Jesse and I would. Make mm-hmm. a chicken casserole and bring the casserole dish to the table. Yep. Never do that. That's dangerous. Never do that. Make yourself have to get up to get to the casserole dish. Yeah, yeah. At a certain point, you just you stop bringing a plate and you just bring the casserole oh, dish and a spoon. Trust me, I did that. Oh, you know what? Speaking of Jesse, she and you know, I'm looking at these pictures of Involtini. Like she a, used to make a pork Involtini. Uh, no, she, it was a chicken. It was. Um, I don't know what she called it. Boy, she used to make that. She didn't call it an involtini, but it had spinach. It had cheese and spinach. It was her mom's recipe, and it was a spiral of chicken, just like that, rolled up. Yeah, that's cool. Dang, it was good. Involtini. Was the previous word. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this one is quadrilier. 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 Yeah. Quadrilier. I think we're both saying it appropriately wrong. It is. Um, yeah, I don't know. It is not for meatballs. Oh gosh! It's to make crisscross lines on the surface of food as oh. part of food presentation. Yes, like on bread. Yes. Underlay it. Yes. Or ham. Yes. Yeah, crisscross. You can do that with a piece of steak. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm gonna tr- quadrilay this. Give me a second. That looks fun. I do do that sometimes when I'm grilling. Really? Yeah. What is it? What does that do? It makes people impressed. Like to cut it or just like <laughs> make it charred in the You're talking about actually cutting the No, no, like what that steak is. I just do that crisscross thing. It's harder to do on the yeah, grill that I have. Yeah, but that's searing though. That's not cutting. I don't even know if that's actually it. Well, it's under the quadrille. All right. Look at he get Oh, that's what we could have eaten. Look, it's a gusher on a toothpick. Oh, oh no, gosh. No, that was for me. Why, why did you think you could do that? Uh, he did it. He got, he got one. Because I did it before. Somebody's okay. going to step You're on that gusher. You're over there practicing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are looking at step on that gusher and fall. Thank you for all the little treats today, Chase. Chase, you did good with your treats. My pleasure. I feel like a, I feel like a pet dog. <laughs> Don't miss your chance to grab April's Pen of the Month, available today only at mythical.com.